Well, with a new school year underway for many families, families may find themselves with little time between class, carpool, and after-school activities. So what should you feed your kid if you're on the go? Well, our Dr. Lewis First has the answer to your questions in this week's First with Kids. Parents have recently been asking me whether it's normal for their children to want last night's pizza for breakfast. So this week, let me provide some tips on getting nutrients into your child, even if they don't want to sit down at the table for that more traditional morning meal because they're late for school or need to catch the bus and grab that cold pizza or spaghetti from last night's dinner instead. First, it's important to remember that breakfast is a great way to refuel the body before the day starts. Skipping breakfast can result in the child feeling tired or irritable, where a study suggests that children who eat breakfast eat healthier overall. They get their brains up and running and are even more apt to keep their weight in check. Even grabbing cold pizza in the morning from the fridge, which contains some valuable carbohydrates and proteins, can be a lot better for them than the high sugar, high fat snack food items they might otherwise choose later in the day that may cause excess unhealthy weight gain. As to other nutrients to take on the run, well, a single serving box of dry cereal can also meet their grain needs, as can a packet of cheese or peanut butter crackers for the road, assuming they're not peanut allergic. For vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables, offering them fruits in a muffin or vegetables through raw carrots or celery sticks they can munch on on the way to school, well, that can do the trick. If they don't want milk to get their dairy requirements, they can still get those requirements through yogurt or cheese sticks. If you want your children to sit down at the table, well, offer them a choice of items the night before or invite them to help you cook something in the morning since kids are more apt to eat what they have chosen or help prepare. And if you're too busy to prepare a breakfast or afford the healthy foods that need to be a part of that breakfast, there are always the free breakfast provided in the morning in most public schools, thanks to support from the National School Breakfast Program. Remember, some breakfast is better than no breakfast at all when it comes to putting something in your child's stomach before their brain needs to start working in school. By the way, that goes for parents headed for work too. Hopefully, tips like these will allow you and your child to make a nutritious fast break out of break fast breakfast, even if it means eating last night's pizza. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital, reminding you to always be first with your kids. <laughs> and if you have a question for Dr. First, you can just send him an email. The address is firstwithkids at mynbc5.com. <laughs>